Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a reflection effect in Inkscape. So, uh, I've got this uh, Techies logo that I'm going to be adding the reflection to. So we just want to select our object, but I don't want to make a reflection of this black background, so I'll hold shift and press it again to deselect it. Okay, now that we have our uh, main object, we want to group it. This makes it easier to maneuver later, and we want to duplicate it. So, all right, now to flip it upside down, we just go to flip selected objects vertically, press it, and now we have one copy that is upside down. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, hold control and move this object down. Holding control prevents you from moving it horizontally. Uh, you can also move it just uh, freestyle and then align it later, but it, holding control is less hassle. Okay, now that you have uh, your uh, copy on the bottom, unfortunately we can't just add a uh, gradient to the bottom object. That's, what, that's one of the shortcomings of this program. Uh, if you have an object with more than one fill in it, you can't just add a, a fading effect. So we'll have to improvise, and to add this uh, uh, fading effect, we're going to make a rectangle that covers our bottom logo. So make a rectangle, make sure it covers everything. There we go. It's black so you can't see it, but that's about to change. Uh, go to Fill and Stroke and give it a linear gradient. Now we want to move these nodes around, so it fades from top to bottom. Um, okay, I think that looks pretty good. It's not exactly aligned, but that's fine. Uh, and so here you have it. Uh, we have our Techies logo and a reflection for it, in which we improvised by making a rectangle. Uh, thank you. That's it for now. I've, this has been Kremlin for the Techies.